Today we're going to be working on this jewelry armoire I got from the thrift store. It was a really good price and it's in pretty good condition. The only problem is it's really dark and just kind of sad, outdated. So we're going to give it some color and perk it right up. Unfortunately, all the drawers smell like perfume and the inserts are just a little dingy. So we're going to remove all the drawer inserts and replace them. To do this, I'm getting as close as I can with my razor blade to the edge. I continue removing what I can from the jewelry armoire. Now I'm using a sponge with a little bit of water and some soap on it and I'm just going to scrub this off. I have to be very careful not to soak it because most of these jewelry armoires are made of MDF and the MDF, if it's soaked, will swell. So we just have to be very careful not to soak it and then to rinse it right away. Then I took the hardware off and cleaned the rest of the piece with my Dixie Bell's White Lightning Cleaner. And then I decide to use my sanding sponge and give this piece a nice sanding because there are a lot of nicks and scratches. Then I'm going to cover my hardware with some green tape. I was watching a video by Creep Designs with Twitch the other day and she uses her green tape for so many different things and I was thinking why don't I just use mine and make my life a little bit easier. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to cover everything I can that I don't want painted with the green tape. Then I've decided to add one coat of Dixie Belle's Boss in gray. And I'm doing this because there was a perfume odor in the drawers. So I'm just gonna give it one coat of this primer for odors. This primer will block any odors that are left on the piece. I find it much easier to flip the piece upside down when I'm painting the legs. Now here I've also decided, even though I don't have all that paper off, I'm gonna add a coat of the Dixie Bell's Boss to the drawers. And I'm gonna cover this with a felt adhesive later, but I just wanted to make sure that I'm blocking those odors. So I work my way through the whole entire jewelry armoire covering every inch with my primer. Then I went ahead and I started painting. I used a gray and I made a custom colored purple, but I ultimately decided this is not the way I wanted to go. So I'm just going to paint right over it. And I'm going to start with the color chocolate on the legs. I was a little undecided and I have about five or six colors out. I'm not sure exactly which ones I'm gonna use so I'm just gonna play around a little bit here. This next color is called Amethyst. 
decided that I wanted to blend some of the amethyst in with the chocolate on the legs, but I don't want to go too far down. In today's video, I want to show you that there are many different ways to blend paint colors together. This is the stippling motion that I'm using right now. I'm just sort of pouncing my brush onto the chocolate and it's, it's mixing the colors on its own. It's just blending them together. There isn't one formula for blending paint. There's actually a lot of different ways you can do it. You just need to experiment with your paint and your brushes. Now, I'm still not sure exactly how I want to do this. So I know I like the way that the legs look, but I'm just going to go up and start doing the center of the jewelry armoire, and then I'll come back down to finish the bottom. Now I'm using the color Plum Crazy. Then I'm going to use amethyst and I'm going to blend some of the amethyst into the plum crazy on the edges. I decide that I really like those two colors together. So now I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna start blending the front of the dresser. I'm gonna outline with amethyst because it's the darker color. I'm using Plum Crazy again to fill in some of that blank space in the center where I laid the amethyst down. Now this third color I'm adding to the center is tea rose and I'm going to use the tea rose to blend outwards. It's going to blend in with the plum crazy and amethyst. For this blending I'm just swirling a round brush. Now I'm using another brush. This is a flat, dry brush. It has no paint on it. And I'm just gonna use this to blend all three colors together. For the bottom half of the front, I see that I have a little bit too much Plum Crazy there, so I'm going to add a little more Tea Rose to it and then just swirl it around. 
And I go back with my dry brush and I start blending again. Then when I like the blend in the centers, I take my brush with amethyst on it and I just darken and deepen the outline with amethyst. Now for the front part of the door, I used one full coat of amethyst and then right over it, I'm gonna add my Plum Crazy. And I'm adding tea rose on top, right in the center. Make sure that we have a nice blended look. I'm adding amethyst to the sides. And then I'm just gonna blend it back out with my tea rose brush. Moving on to the sides, I follow the exact same pattern I did in the front. So my amethyst on the outside, plum crazy, and then tea rose in the centers. Then I take that tea rose brush and I swirl it around, mixing the three colors together, leaving the amethyst on the edges. I follow the same process on the inside of the armoire and on the top. Now I'm adding Dixie Belle's Flower Child Transfer. 
It comes with four sheets of flowers, and there are two that you can match together as a centerpiece, but I'm gonna use them separately. I'm carefully pulling the transfer from the backing paper, and then I'm gonna stick it on my piece like a sticker. I'm using the stick they provide to really rub that transfer on. And then I'll take that front paper and I'll start peeling it back and the transfer should stick on your piece. Now that the transfer is on, I just use my sanding sponge and I go over it lightly to get rid of the halo, to pop any bubbles, and to make sure that it's on really well. And I continue adding more of the transfer onto the piece. And I add a lot of it to this one. It's just so pretty. I feel like all the colors, the browns and even the white, they sort of balance out this pink and purple. And for the hardware, I'm going to use gilding wax and the color bronze just to touch it up and give it a little bit of shine. To finish up the drawers, I'm using amethyst to paint on the sides, the inside, the entire drawer. Before I add my felt to it, I just wanna make sure that we have a nice solid base coat. I bought this felt off of Amazon and it just has a little backing paper and it sticks right on. It sticks really, really well. So I just measured it out and I'm putting it on there that I'm gonna use my razor blade to cut off any excess.
Now before I move on to the other drawers, I realized that I needed to seal my piece first. And I also sealed the drawers. So I sealed the entire piece and then I continued adding my felt to the drawers. I'm using Dixie Belle's top coat in satin. Here's a reminder of what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like today. I have to say I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I love the purples and the pinks with the brown and the bronze. Together it just looks really cohesive and beautiful. I hope that you saw in this video that there are many different ways to blend your paint. It doesn't have to be cross hatching or stippling, it could be cross hatching or stippling, it could be up and down, side by side, you can go vertical, you can blend your paint with a dry brush, you can do swirls. There's so many different ways to blend your paint. Don't be afraid, just experiment and have fun. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week with another furniture makeover.